Agolino's restaurant in West Pitson has reopened after a devastating flood a little less than three months ago. There was water up to the awning, but today it's a different story. Business was booming. Owner Joe Agolino thinks this is the start of the rebuilding of the West Pittston community. Penmart was the first to come back and he's opened up. And now I'm opened up, you know, we hope to get everybody. The guys up the street, Antonio's supposed to be opening and Crest Cleaner, so we'll get it back. So you're coming back slowly but surely, We're right? coming back. We had a lot of good help, good contractors, Everybody just came together. It was just a, it was just a good feel, but it was hard. And a lot of people here working at one time, all the different trades. But it's all worth it. Very thankful. Uh, it's been a great day. Waited for it. Did this in a little bit under three months, and total, total restoration. I mean, from the kitchen to the bare walls, just total restoration. And it just came out great. It just came out great. So I'm just very proud of it. The customers miss Dagolinos, and they are happy to see the family back in business. Dr. Bob Shimo from Wyoming, I'm congratulating him and wish him all the best, best luck in the world. The place is clean, it's nice, the area is just fantastic. Did you miss it? Well, well, very well. much, very much, we missed it very much. Yes, indeed. What, what's your favorite thing on the menu that you missed? Well, there's so many good ones here, it's hard to say, pick one up. My name is Krista Masto and I'm from 44. Okay, so have you been to Aguilino's prior to the flood? We used to come here every Saturday. I'd probably be here like three times a week before. Okay, so did you miss it while, you know, they were rebuilding and repairing everything? I missed it so much, I ran in here. <laughs> Frank Shevich from Wyoming. I've been coming here for 30 years. I was thrilled they opened back up. Were you surprised that it kind of happened so quickly? Yes, I was. This is Jackie Lucas reporting for TimesLeader.com.